Welcome to Farm Estate News. Here are the top headlines from Pharma World. Yermak launches novel, globally researched anti-diabetes drug Remagliflozine in India. Glenmark is the first company in the world to launch Remagliflozine and India is the first country to get access to this innovative drug. Sun Pharma falls after US FDA observations on its Dadra plant. The US FDA on Friday issued Form 483 with 11 observations after inspection of the company's Dadra facility during March 22-29. Global manufacturing will be powered by 100% renewable energy by 2020. Novo this year was among seven pharma companies that were in the top 100 in Reputation Institute's annual measurement of public perceptions. Lupin in alliance with Natco receives FDA approval for Bocentin tablets. Lupin Limited, Lupin, in alliance with Natco Pharma, Natco announced that it has received approval for Bocentin tablets, 62.5 mg and 125 mg, from the United States Food and Drug Administration FDA, to market a generic version of Actelian Pharmaceuticals Limited's Tricolir tablets, 62.5 mg and 125 mg. Zytus receives final approval from the US FDA for Bocentin tablets and Trientine hydrochloride capsules. Both the products will be manufactured at the group's formulations manufacturing facility at SES, Ahmedabad. Zydus and SIFI from Italy announce marketing alliance to launch innovative intraocular lenses in India. SIFI's innovative IOLs, intraocular lenses, have been approved by the Indian Central Drug Standards Control Organization, Directorate General of Health Services and Ministry of Health and Family. Live Welfare, Medical Device and Diagnostic Division. United Nations report outlines plan to address antimicrobial resistance. The report calls for immediate action, saying that the issue could cause economic damage similar to the global financial crisis of 2008 and put around 24 million people I. in extreme poverty by 2030. The effects are expected in countries of all income levels. With Tavor and Torrent, recalls of tainted Losartan now add up to 368 lots. Deva pointed out that the risk of getting cancer from taking the pills is very small, and following an FDA recommendation, said Kansam. Us that have any of the tablets should continue to take them until their doctor or pharmacy can find them an alternative. AstraZeneca starts artificial intelligence collaboration to accelerate drug discovery. AstraZeneca and Benevolenti today began a long-term collaboration to use artificial intelligence, AI and machine learning for the discovery and development of new treatments for chronic kidney disease, CKD, and idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, IPF. The Janta Pharma Q4 net profit declines 5.92% to 89 crore rupees. The company had posted a net profit of 94.49 crore rupees for the corresponding period of the previous financial year, Ajanta Pharma said in a filing to the BSE. Details you can visit the news link shown with the news bite. And for quick pharma industry updates, download Pharma State app.